Good afternoon, we're here with uh, Emilia Reis. I'm Gary Poland, the CEO of Nuvi. Emilia is the CEO of the Fresno USC. Uh, we are here to talk about the Fresno USC and all the great things that Fresno USC is doing in uh, Fresno County. Uh, and obviously hear about how you see uh, the impact of this new project into, uh, into the, your everyday work. So please uh, describe to us you know, all the activities, all the great activities that Fresno USC does on a regular basis. Well, first, I want to thank you for being a partner and coming into our community and investing and believing in us. Um, Fresno EOC was born out of the civil rights movement. Um, it's a social justice agency, and we have one mission, and that is we are here to fight to end poverty. And as you know, poverty is multi-complex, challenging, and difficult. Um, so it's not just one thing. So Fresno EOC provides 35 different programs that include education, um, housing stability, health and wellness, um, community safety, transportation, food insecurity, you name it, we try our best to meet the needs of our community because they are struggling. And so this energy efficient project vehicle to grid, your partnership is actually really a game changer for our community because not only are you building an infrastructure in our community, community that will allow us to have clean energy and reduce our cost of operations to continue serving the community, you're investing in workforce our community members to really give them an opportunity to lift them, lift them and themselves and their families out of poverty. Um, this skill set is going to be a game changer for them. So you know, this project has been taking some time to get to this point. Yeah. Um, can you give us a bit of history on, on the different steps that you had to go through in order to take this project to where it is today? Well, um, yes, the, the partnership with NUMI took about a, a year and a half, two years to even get here, but it was four years in the making. Um, we started with initially thinking that the three acres that we have, that we were going to build a USDA kitchen. Um, unfortunately, here in the Valley, there's a lot of food insecurity yeah. and the demand is high and our food service department is has outgrew their space. And the need in the Central Valley is tremendous. However, unfortunately, we weren't able to build at, you know, at that site because environmental issues. However, our team was innovative and thinking strategically on how we can cut costs, especially the last four years as utility expenses have increased by 30%. Gas prices are insane. Um, we couldn't continue operating the way we were. We had an operating deficit for the last two years and that wasn't self-sufficient. So initially it was about cutting costs and it just became a lot bigger. Um, when we thought about this energy project, we were like, we just not, we don't want to just do solar project. We are also thinking of how are we going to transfer our vehicles to electric vehicles? How are we going to support our local workforce? And so making sure we were very intentional on all three aspects of it took a little bit of time. However, the result is what we get today. And this is a great partnership, um, not only for Fresno EOC and Nui, but the benefit and the impact to our community is tremendous. So for the kitchen here, I think you deliver about 7,000 meals per day. Yes. Uh, it's like a lot of that uh, distribution of meals is already happening with uh, electric vans. Mm -hmm. How has been the experience? Oh my goodness. My, uh, my team is so happy with the electric vehicles and they're so proud driving their vehicles. Um, it has already helped with cost. Um, and like you said, we, we deliver 7,000 meals a day. Um, and the benefit of us actually increasing it for to meet the needs of the community is needed more now than ever. And so transitioning our all of our vehicles to deliver food to our community is going to provide an opportunity to do some cost savings and actually start building that USDA kitchen. That's, that's obviously a, a very important step in, in providing those, those lunch. The, the other thing that is uh, in you know, where we spend a lot of time together is with the workforce. Mm, yes. Uh, and I truly believe in you know, transferring the skill set mm -hmm. of the workforce today into skill set that are very uh, usable moving forward. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, Chairman Baines is, is also very much, much very close to his heart. Mm -hmm. Can you describe more of all the activities that uh, are being done in setting up that skill set? Well, because poverty is complex, um, we actually have programs that are right 
an immediate response and help and support our community. Um, for example, we launched our guaranteed basic income where we provide families $500 a month just to meet the basic needs last week. And now we, we have this program that really is looking at our employment and training arm, which is really to um, give people an opportunity, people that um, normally are left behind, um, specifically in our disadvantaged communities, an opportunity to get some training, employment skills, um, to literally have employment to help their families um, and get out of poverty. So this experience, this skill set, this curriculum actually is going to give these um, individuals and these families an opportunity to really change the trajectory of their families. Um, and that right there is super exciting because our, all of our recipients and our clients that go through our employment and training arm are already have that drive and motivation to really move forward in, in, the, um, in the community. However, this one additional skill set is going to put them over the edge. It's going to give them that edge um, to be able to get a, a better job. And I think it's going to be important to do more of those projects yes. uh, as we move forward. And you were pointing out earlier that you know, the average electric bill is $250 yes. in Fresno County and has been rising in two years by 27%. Mm -hmm. And I think we're just at the beginning of that. Electric vehicles, though they are great on the one hand, mm -hmm. uh, they could make the cost of energy a lot more expensive for everybody, even people that cannot afford buying an EV. And I think that's all more important to solve these issues here. So I hope we can do many other projects like this mm -hmm. in Fresno County and, and with your support as well. You know, um, today was a, a big and historic day. Um, our agency is significantly a large agency. We have 1,200 staff and we manage different programs, about $160 million worth of social service programs. And our entire team, executive team was here and not all of them understood um, the intentionality with this um, project and the impact it has throughout the community. I always say the ripple effect um, because we need to save energy, but it, it brought a bigger issue to the forefront and that is um, energy um, inequities. And a lot of, a third of our families are struggling to pay their utility bills. That's un completely unacceptable, especially with like for today's 110 degrees outside and so families um, are low income communities that are trying to pay their electric bill are trying to um, avoid high costs are not using their AC, which winds up having ripple effects on the elders or kids and, and experiencing asthma or in other health conditions. It, it impacts the entire community. And so for us to be able to provide an energy efficient structure and be able to sell back to grid. I wish that we can sell specifically to specific target communities. However, that's for next. That's something that you're going to be working on for us to be able to really target our our disadvantaged communities to make their energy bill just a little bit less, so they can actually put food on the table or not be so stressed out making day to day um, expenses. Yeah, and that's really the goal of this project is to mm -hmm. be a demonstration also for the community, but can but can really be done. Here, yeah. So. So we already have a lot of projects in mind, so don't worry, our job just started and I can't wait to continue um, our partnership to um, embed our weatherization program. Great. Thank you, Emilia. Thank you for a great partnership. Thank you.